Hello, hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Dracalia Lost video. Today we're going to be looking at... I'm going to be playing around with Marf's Mana Spiral. Do not take this as some kind of indicative of how to play Marf, because I'm still not great with Marf. Uh, so, you know, that should let you know. But he got his Mana Spiral, and I think it's really good. So in today's video, we're just going to be playing around with him. Uh, I have other videos detailing exactly what he does. Uh, just know that he's very good. And the prints here I have are for uh, HMS stuff, but we're going to keep that on. Um, so, wait, no, actually, I'm going to go back and I'm going to change this one out for... There we go, this one. So the first thing we're going to do is head into the Mercury Gauntlet. But yeah, that's today's video. And if you end up liking this video, make sure to leave a like. I uh, hope you... If, so if you pulled for the Fire Emblem units, by the way, I hope you had very good luck with it. And... Yeah, just remember... Like if you end up liking this video, leave a like. And if you want more videos like this, subscribe to me. This is actually the third time I've been trying to record this video. Because the other two videos were just so bad with me playing. So bad, so hopefully this goes a little bit better. Let's go here. So first things first, I should mention right away I'm not the greatest at horse striking with him. I'm still learning. Someone told me that I should focus on if I'm going to be playing sword to learn the combo. And I'm... I'm almost there. Uh, I, can move I can do it sometimes when I'm not thinking about it, but sometimes I think about it and I just completely fail. So I'm going to try and see if I can activate Fire Emblem three times. It could happen. Uh, the good way to know if I failed in my combo is this, if he jumps in the air, because I want to keep three. There we go. Usually it's after that one. There we go. Perfect. If I can see his sword swing, I know exactly what to do. One, two, three, boom. Oh, no. Let me see. One, two, right after that one. Nope. Screwed that up. There it is. Nope. One, two, three. All right. Now let's do attack speed. Thank you for the aid. My prayers are with you. If you do it really quick, then you can get your your abilities up real quick. So let me put away from that. No, I hit him with it. Damn it. It's alright. Because he's dead. Whew. That's kind of Marth in action, at least in Mercury Gauntlet. Uh, man. I owe this victory to my friends. Doing pretty good considering that I'm low, but to be fair, I have three mana spirals and Halloween Lowen, which is one hell of a thing to have on your side. Let's not go here. All right. Now I'm going to do another fight with him. I'm going to try and just like actually play the fights because if I don't pay attention, then I'm going to kind of like lose focus. But once I'm done with the fights, then we'll actually get into um, how I feel about him. That makes sense, right? Don't, <laughs> based on my bed, I'm not the greatest player in the world. So don't expect, um, don't expect anything from me. And I won't fail you. Um, let's go into Volk. The one problem I have with um, Marf and Volk, besides the fact that I mainly play ranged, is that, um, is that if you get hit by sleepiness, there's a very good chance of you just insta-dying to everything. For a peaceful future. This is For a peaceful future. I'm gonna quickly switch off to. I'm not gonna fight without a healer, bro. I'm not about to do a three Marf comp. I recognize you as the better Marf because of your higher skill. But also, my dude, I'm not fighting without a healer on this team. So either be a healer or get the hell out. That's my current feeling. And oh man, I should not be talking so boastful. He's off. He's probably very much better than me. He actually has a good weapon for Marf. He's got it all decked out. Ooh. Oh, that'd be a good. Jewels of the Sun would actually be very good now that I think about it. Let me. I'm gonna steal that. Let me get it, my team. I'm gonna make him think I'm gonna switch off Marth, and then it's gonna be like, nope, actually, more Marth. I completely replaced the wrong weapon. Wow, I was doing all that damage, and I was not even using the right. I wasn't using Shining Overlord. I didn't even notice. Huh. Alright. Now this guy's gonna come back and I'm gonna be still Marf. For a peaceful future. All right, I'm gonna pause and see and wait. Man, that took a bit. 
All right, let's get into it. Again, expect me to die in this one, just because if I get hit by that sleep, it's just gonna be a bad news, and also I'm still very bad with DPS on this stage. All right, but let's do it. In the name of science, we have to see how our boy Mark is handling it. Okay, wait for it, there he is. Get out of the way. Ah, oh, damn it. Not good enough, man. My prayers are with you. Get out of the way, Mark. Get out of the way, Mark. Damn it. See exactly what I'm talking about. It's so easy to die in this when you're not playing a deep, when you're not playing a um, range, and you're not familiar enough with the fight. Okay. I've lost complete control of everything. All right. Never. Count it. No. Perfect. I must end you. I should have waited till he was doing the move. My prayers are with you. Perfect. Such strength. I must end you. All right, time to go, dragon. If she could see me now. Okay. Oh, that guy gave us attack rate up, so... I won't hold Perfect. Back. My Perfect. Are with you. There we go. If you have a skill up, it works out perfectly fine for you, but if you don't... Alright. Yeah, he is gonna give me an illness. Alright. My prayers are with you. All right, he should be dead soon. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Thank you. Whew. That wasn't pretty. That was 100% on me for not showing the prettiness, but we made it through. I, again, I need to practice more with Marf. As you can see here, like, I'm trying to learn still, so... Forgive me, it's my first day. I've never played Marf before, not to lie. All right, let's go to the next one. All right. Except for this one. I 100% by the way, we're not going to be able to beat it. Uh, just because I tried it before solo and it's still iffy if I can actually beat it solo, but we're going to do our darndest. Okay. I'm going to go in here like this. Now in theory we should be able to win, but don't discount it. And Marf should be pretty good in this one because it's like, um, He's kind of built for specifically HMIs. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Prove that your courage is unbreakable. Alright, perfect. I must now I can use everything. Alright, let me try and go here this way. I can move freely again. Okay, so first of all, y'all need to get out of the way because I already have dragon? How is that possible? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> That's why it's possible. Perfect. Wow, he's just 100% completely murked on that one. Well, to be fair, I am using a lot of mana spirals here. That went better than when I tried. I could not find a game of this at all when I did go up. But yeah, this is kind of where Marf shines. I think the most. Uh, just because if you do it just right, that 30% blast should make it so that everyone has um, their skills immediately. So you can just immediately start dumping, and then that can start up his fire emblem and everything. More than anything, it's the one mode I think where he could shine extremely well. So all right. Those are the, the three fights basically where you would use any fire unit the whole bunch, and not like uh, not accounting Imperial Onslaught of course, which he would do perfectly fine in. Um, 
most fire units would, honestly. But anyway, that's Marth. That's how I've been I've been using Marth. I still need again, I still need to practice, but using him he seems pretty fun. When you can actually activate the 30% attack um, the rate up, it's insane because it makes everyone so much better. And that like that's only with AI. I've only been able to use it with AIs and stuff, so I can't imagine what would happen if you actually had um, good if you were one of all first of all if you were good and two if you were with a team that uh, was also as good as you on a similar skill level you could really exploit that uh, final um, skill phase where he goes like 30% attack. Uh, let me read 100% what it is because I want to say it's at least 30% attack speed and maybe 10% attack up. Let me go here. Yeah, attack, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, 10 seconds. And I believe there's a trick here where if you miss with it, then you'll always have phase three, which you always want to have phase three. I think it's that you have to miss with the second one. This is something, again, where you have to actually know how to play the character, and I'm still learning with Marf specifically. Um, but yeah, he's really good. If you're a big fan of Marf, then this Mana Spiral is 100% worth it. Um, if you have, if you already have Yudin and you're wondering, like, oh, should I pull him? Is he going to replace Yudin? My current thought is no, but, you know... If you have Marf, it's good to have him on the side in case, again, I can't predict where some of the meta stuff goes for Dragalia Loss. So I, I'm definitely one of those players that likes to wait and see what people are saying. And meta team comps change with Mana Sparrows pretty frequently. So I'd be interested to see how it's going to shake out. But I think he's really good. Uh, give your thoughts about how you feel about him and stuff like that. Uh, and that's gonna be the end of this video. I'll be I'll do another video for Veronica because Veronica That girl deals damage Crazy damage. But yeah, that's the end of today's video. I hope you didn't mind the kind of bad gameplay. Give me a break It's my birthday <laughs> today. April 20 is my birthday 420 The day of Fire Emblem of course, but yeah, that's the end of today's video Again, if you liked it, leave a like. If you're not subscribed to me, you should totally subscribe. I'm a cool dude. I do videos. I'm not too aggro about anything. I totally haven't spent the last 30 minutes trying to make a good video of this more video. <laughs> and still thinking, okay, this one's good enough. Um, and that's it. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy Fire Emblem out there. See ya. Bye.